Hello everyone, this is me, Dari Mas, and today we will discuss of section second that is livelihood, economies and society. So I'm gonna discuss first chapter that is the, the making of a global world. So let's move on to this chapter. We will discuss as usual like uh, my teaching strategies that I am gonna solve uh, if we tell you the solution of questions. So like this we will do this chapter also so let's move on to the question section fast without wasting any time so here we go uh, question part so this chapter is the making of a global world so first question is give two example of different type of global exchange which took place before the 17th century Choosing one example from Asia and one from America. So, oh, one example, few more examples you can write. First one is, uh, you can write, you have to write two examples. So, first you can write exchange of food, like food offers many example of long distance cultural exchange. It is believe that noodles traveled from, um, traveled best from China to become spaghetti. Then second is exchange of germs. The Portuguese and Spanish conquest and colonization of America was decisively underway by the middle 16th century. The European conquest was not just a result of superior uh, uh, superior firepower. In fact, the most powerful weapon of Spanish conquest was not a conventional military weapon at all. It was the germs such as those of smallpox that they carried on their person because of their long isolation americans original inhabitant had no immunity against these diseases that came from europe smallpox is a particular proved a deadly killer once introduced it spread deep into the continent ahead even of any european region there it killed and decimated the whole community paying the way for this conquest so like this way you can write as well as uh, you can write uh, other example like textile spices chinese poetry were exchanged by china all these things you can write other you can see uh, golden food such as butter so we are going to add cheese food was exported from america too all these things you can write in second example Explain how the global transfer of diseases in the pre-modern world helped in the colonization of America. So, in this one, you can write uh, the global transfer of uh, diseases in the pre-modern world helped in the colonization of Am America because the Native American Indian were not immune to the diseases that settler and colonizer brought with them. The European were more or less immune to smallpox, but the Native Americans, having uh, been cut off from the rest of the world for millions of years, had no def defense against it. These germs killed and wiped out whole communities, paving the way for foreign domination weapons and soldiers could be destroyed or captured, but diseases could not be fought against. Then third is write a short, write a note to explain the effect of the following. First is. Uh, the British government decision to abolish corn laws. So, in this one, you can write uh, British government decision to abolish the corn laws was the inflow of cheaper agriculture crops from America and Australia. Many English farmers left their profession and migrated to town and cities. Some went overseas. This indirectly led to global agriculture and rapid urbanization, a prerequisite of industrial growth. The second is coming of winter pests to Africa. So the coming of winter pests to Africa causes the loss of livelihood to countless Africans using this situation to their advantage. Colonizing nations conquered and subsidized Africa by monopolizing skilled cattle resources to force Africa into the labor market. And third is the death of men of working age in Europe because of the world war. Mm, most of the victims of World War belonged to young generation of working men. As a result, it reduced the workforce in Europe, thereby reducing household income. The role of women increased and led to demand for more equality of status. It made the feminist movement stronger. Women started working alongside men in every field. 
women and youngster became more independent and free with long term effects then third is fourth one is <coughs> the great depression on in the indian economy so the impact of uh, great depression in india was felt especially in the agriculture sector it was evident that indian economy was closely becoming integrated to global economy india was the british colony and exported agriculture goods and imported manufactured goods so the fall in agriculture prices led to the reduction of farmer income and agriculture exports so the government did not uh, decrease their tax so many farmer and landlord uh, became more indebted to money lender and corrupt official it led to a great ruler unrest in india then the decision of mnc to relocate production to asian country so basically because the wages are relatively low in asian country due to excess supply of workers most of these economy have low cost structure and most of these country have huge market um, excess supply of workers so low salary as well as low cost structure then give to example from history to show the impact of technology on food availability so if the quality of cheap food in different market like improvement in transport faster or faster railway or lighter wagons and larger ships have moved food more cheaply and quickly from far away farms to the final market then impact on meat tail eating and these meat from america was shipped to europe in the form of live animals which can then slaughtered in europe but live animals took up a lot of ship space so the invention of refrigerated ships um uh, made it possible to transport meat from one region to another now animals were slaughtered in america or still in wherever and then transported to or whatever in these country and then transported to europe as a frozen meat so the invention of refrigerated ship had various advantages like uh, it reduced shipping cost and lowered meat prices in europe the poor in europe could now consume more their diet to the earlier monotony of bread and potatoes men not all could add meat for the eggs and better living condition prompted or promoted social peace within the country and support for um, imperialism abroad as well as um, yeah two point you have to write in short first is a faster uh, railway uh, this lighter baggage and second is refrigerator ship then um, fifth is uh, what is meant by britain woods agreement so britain woods agreement you can write uh, in this one the britain wood agreement was finalized in july 1944 at britain woods song um, in new hampshire usa it established the international monetary fund and the world bank to preserve global economic stability and full employment in the industrial world these institution also deal with external surpluses and deficit of member nation and financed post war reconstruction then sixth is uh, <coughs> imagine that you are an intent or indian labor in the caribbean going from the details in the chapter it's kind of you have to do it by your own self kind of questions so in this one you can write like a uh, things like uh, in india intended labor were hired under contract which promised to return travel to india after they had worked for 5 year on their employer plantation then most of the intended workers migrated in hope for a bright future but they were exploited by recruitment agent and by them for they had to pay a commission to their the agent used to provide false information to the worker regarding their final destination modes of transportation the nature of work and living then sometime agent even forced to be abducted less willing migrant as well as you can write like uh, many of uh, intended labor escaped into the jungle i mean like they started celebrating this for a cause in which both the hindu and muslim world from india participated many of these things you can write even they developed a new culture which was a blend of new culture and traditional culture of intended labor they started creating their own way of enjoyment like uh, the 
Chiali music has be or created by Indo-Caribbean people. The music derived element from Indian from, uh, from song as well as you can write about um, it was a world of faster economic growth as well as greater knowledge, higher income for some and poverty for others, technological advances in some area and new form of exploitation in other you can write a lot of a uh, whole lot of things. Then explain the three type of movement or flow within international economic exchange. Find one example each type of flow which involved Indian and Indians and write a short account on it. So for this one you can write uh, the three types of movement or flow within the international exchange are trade flow, capital flow, uh, trade flow, human capital flow and capital flow or investment. So trade, human and capital flow. This can be explained as trade in agriculture product migration of uh, trade in agriculture product that is trade flow. Then migration of labor is a human capital flow and then capital flow or investment so that is the financial loan to and from other nations so india was a hub of trade in pre-modern world and it it exported textile and spices in return for gold and silver from europe many different foods such as potatoes soya ground or meats tomatoes cheese and sweet potatoes come to india from america after columbus discovered it in the field of labor intent to labor was provided for mines plantation and factories abroad in huge numbers in the 19th century, this was an instrument of colonial dom domination by the British. Then, lastly, Britain took generous loan from USA to finance the World War. Since India was an English colony, the impact of these loan debt was felt in India too. The British government increased taxes, interest rates, and lowered the prices of product it bought from colony. Indirectly but strongly, this affected the Indian economy and people. So, this you can write. Next is explain the causes of a Great Depression. So, Great Depression was a result of a various factor of that time, like uh, prosperity in the U.S. during 1920 created a cycle of higher employment and income. It led to rise in consumption and demands. More investment and more employment created tendency of speculation, which lead to the Great Depression of 1992, and it lasted for one year. That is up to mid 1930. Even as the stock market crashed in 1920, it created panic among investors and depositors who stopped investing and depositing. As a result, created a cycle of depreciation and failure of the bank. Some of the bank closed down when people withdraw all their assets, leaving them unable to invest. Some bank called bank loan um, taken from all them at the same dollar rate. In spite of the feeling that you thought it was washed by the British change in policy, usually found at the pre-war value so these thing you can write then explain what is referred to as g77 countries in what way can g77 be seen as a reaction to the britain wood twins so g77 d77 countries is an abbreviation for the group of 77 countries that demanded a new international economic order a system that would give them real control over their natural resources uh, without being victim of ne neocolonialism that is new form of colonialism in trade practiced by the former colonial power then g77 can be seen as a reaction to the activities of britain woods twins that is uh, <coughs> britain woods twin was a uh, international monetary fund and world bank because these two institutions were designed to meet the financial aid of industrial and developed countries and did nothing for economic growth of further uh, former colonies and developing nations so this one you can write as well as by establishing g77 they could like that group of 77 countries they get control over their natural resources like i said more assistance in their development then fairer price of raw materials and better access for their manufactured goods all these things you can write in this one um that's for today we can go through this lecture you can listen it to carefully you get to know about what this chapter is all about that's for today thank you